Hello. Uh, in this session, we are going to understand how many types of data we deal with in our basic C++ programs. Whenever uh, you would have seen that whenever you go to the registration on any website like Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail or any website, you may get a form which asks you for the name. Okay, you write something um, from your name is Mr. ABC. Now, what this is, this is basically a, a string data type which may appear from A to Z and capital A to Z. Okay, uh, usually we do not use any special characters in our email, in our name, sorry, and it may ask for the email which may include abc underscore df at the red gmail.com now what type of this data is this is a2 um, i'm writing a2 big z means all characters of abc in a small and capital letters and then it may appear from 0 to 9 digits and it can take up to any special character like this any character can come over here so this is also a string data type thirdly it may ask you for the date of birth which may be a date data type it may ask you for the not in gmail registration but on some other forms it may ask you for the daily income your salary that may be an integer for example if you are writing uh, that someone draws for 25,000 rupees then this 25 is a numeric integer okay so the possible values may come between 0 to 9 and what else sometimes we get some fractional values like daily expenditure the I spent 12.545 rupees. Now what this is, this is a fractional data. Fractional data. And this is known as flirt in C++, but for now we are just um, differentiating our data, whatever data we get usually. And sometimes we get gender. So we either write male, m for male and f for female this what this is this is a character data type means this will store only one character character data type and thirdly um, if you get a question are you interested in our services you may answer in yes or no so this is boolean now this is boolean data type that either you store true or false now if we differentiate that how much how many different types of data we have we can say that one we have a string data type the second is character data type the third is integer data type the fourth is um, a fractional integer data the third is boolean which includes true and false so for all these different types we have different data types in our c++ program that we are going to learn in our second session so in c++ we will see that how different data types work in our programs together so um, i think i hope you understand the concept of the session in the session we try to differentiate types of data that how many different of, of data is available with us so in next session we are going to learn different types of uh, different data types in c++ thank you